Anti-LGBTQ plus and anti-trans bills are passing at a quick pace. How the White House is responding to the latest round of laws. And we'll talk with the Grand Marshals of this year's Miami Beach Pride about standing up for the LGBTQ plus community in states like Florida. Welcome to Advocate Today, I'm Tracy E. Gilchrist. A record number of anti-LGBTQ plus bills are sweeping through legislatures this year. In one week, 12 bills saw legislative action while the Biden administration takes steps to defend rights and the Supreme Court hands down an important ruling on transgender students in sports. The White House is proposing a revision to Title IX that would expand protections to transgender athletes. It wouldn't stop schools enacting rules limiting their participation, but it would make total bans a violation of Title IX. On the state level, a new law in Kansas would prevent transgender girls from playing on gender-correlating teams. In North Dakota, the state Senate passed 10 anti-LGBTQ plus bills. In North Carolina, six bills introduced take aim at sports participation and gender-affirming treatment for minors. Meanwhile, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that a 12-year-old transgender girl in West Virginia can run track on the girls' team. And in New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy is declaring the state a safe haven for gender-affirming care. Miami Beach Pride is one of the largest Pride gatherings in the country, even though it's held in a red state with a controversial governor pushing anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. The Advocate Channel's Stephen Walker spoke with the festival and parade grand marshals James Vaughn and Jonathan Bennett about standing up for LGBTQ plus rights. Hello, Jonathan and James, or is it Grand Marshal Jonathan? Um, congratulations on that. How do I address you now? Oh my gosh, you may address me and James as your majesties, the Grand Marshals of now, Miami Beach Pride, which we're very excited about. Steven, you knew better than to hype him up like that. I can't game. believe, I love this, Steven. I think I do need some sort of title and a way people should address me with a curtsy or something. I love it. I, I agree. One, what on earth does a Grand Marshal do? And what does that make James? Mich Mich well, we're both the celebrity Grand Marshals, so we're both in the parade together waving, right? I so we're that. doing a... I think we're going to do uh, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. I don't know what a Grand Marshal does except ride in a float. And I hope I get to throw candy. I don't know if I'm going to get I to do that. That's Halloween, my love. Really? Yeah, I don't think we'll be throwing candy. You don't candy. throw candy? I think, I think you might candy. throw candy during a pride yeah. parade. Candy like, whistle. Like, like something super gay, like rainbow. Beads. <laughs> yes, beads. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, you know, you know, Stephen. I'm just, I'm, I'm riding my husband's coattails to a grand he marshalship. Has, he's been working this. out a lot. He is heavy. Okay, <laughs> um, I am tired. The, the, the back is hurting. Oh my gosh, baby. So, um, there's a lot that goes. I, I've been fortunate enough to get to grand marshals some, some other brides before, and so that's why I'm really excited to get to take Jonathan to experience grand marshaling something. Um, there's a lot that comes with it, baby. There's a lot of of hosting and interaction and and getting to meet people and advocacy and, and yep. there's a lot of things that come with it that i'm really excited to get to come down to miami beach to do because first off it's miami beach we love mm -hmm. Miami Beach. we love it uh second off it's pride and third off it's um it's a time to really show up and be seen in that part of the country yes pride is a march and is advocacy we've got to realize that's what pride is again it is political, even though it's fun, it is political. And you boys have been super busy. How are you juggling? I mean, new fame, shows, outbound. Have, there's a lot of things. We have our, our LGBTQ plus uh, cruise company, Outbound Travel. And so we've been working really hard on that all year. We have amazing trips coming up this year that we're gearing up for, plus shooting movies and shooting our shows. And it's been... It's been crazy. Like we were, we're so excited because we were nominated for, I think, well, I know, I, I think I was nominated. For, we were nominated for a GLAAD award together this year. And I was nominated in like three different GLAAD awards. And then on top of that, all the travel stuff, I looked at all those things online. I was like, wow, this is what we did last year. And I'm like, we are tired, but you know what? We're excited because we're fired up to be, you know, grand marshals at Miami pride and getting to like show up and show out for everybody there. So also, it's exciting. You get, you get kind of jet. Is this an elderly thing to say? You get jazzed up. Yeah. You get jazzed up yeah. from meeting the people mm -hmm. and what all the things we work on, what they mean to them, you know? Yeah. And I mean, my baby like downplays a lot, but he's like, 
working on like 9,000 movies right now too, and several TV shows. So um, my husband is very, very busy. I'm trying, trying to take uh, as much of the reins of Outbound as I can uh, when he's busy with all that. But I mean, it's, it's a blessing, right, Stephen? Like we're fortunate to be this busy. And then you see this cool you stuff. Can't, like, thank Rambo. God, you can't complain. And obviously- Booked yeah. and blessed, baby, booked Absolutely. and blessed. I mean, the king of Christmas, I mean, you don't just film at Christmas, right? You film all year round. We film movies all year long. rom com spring romance, fall into summer romance, fall into love. We have rom coms shooting all year long because we love Hallmark Channel and all the amazing movies that, that we get to put out. So, yeah, we're, we're very busy. We have a lot of things going on, but, like, very, very, very exciting things. Like, extremely exciting that I cannot wait to announce later this year. Miami Pride this year. I mean, more than ever, this state of Florida needs pride. Um, how do you think that LGBTQ folks are feeling right now? Um, it's got to be tough. Um, you got to remember, too, like us, like being on the West Coast, we, we have a different experience than a lot of people. And we're fortunate for that. And it's got to be tough to be somewhere where people are feeling like things are going backwards. And that's why it's important that we show up. That's why it's important that we not only show up, but we use social media, we use every vessel we have to say, look, our stories are here, our stories exist, our stories are real, our stories are valid. You're not alone. Because that's the thing we all needed, right? Coming up was we needed you're not alone. So it's just making sure that we are still as visible as possible to let people know that they're not alone. And this is going backwards moment. Like we know how history works. Like it's not, it's not going to continue to go this way. We're going to fight and we're going to get progress. We're going to all work together and we're going to achieve more equality for everyone because that is the nature of, of what happens. So the people that are, are fighting against equality and opportunity in the queer community, like it's a losing battle. So yeah. what are they doing? And they know it is. And they're just clinging to something to distract from something else. So we know how this ends. We know it ends well. So that's why we all just have to continue showing up for each other. And remember, we are stronger when all of our letters of the community are combined and keep doing that. Yeah, I mean, you've got Sandra Bernard will be there with you. I chatted with her the other day. Oh my God, that woman's amazing. Yeah. Legend. I love her. Legend. So legend. She yeah, she's hosting the pre pop. Well, I guess it's done. It's going on right now. You're in the thick of it now in Miami, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's happening. We're about to uh, get on a plane in a couple of days and be there too. So we are excited for, there's a lot. I mean, Miami does it right. They do pride and it like is, is ongoing. It is, it is not just a weekend. It is a, a full event that goes. Well, pack your beads, night. boys, pack your beads. And you know what? Thank you so much for taking this time with me today. But before you go, is there anything you'd like to say to our queer family out there? Um... If you're in Miami, we're going to be there for Pride. Come visit us. We actually have, um, we'll, we'll be around there. What else would we say? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing right now is just remember, like, you're not alone. Yes. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. And if you are in any position where you have any type of voice, please use that voice so someone else realizes they're not alone, too. And some facts now. So you're going to be, when are you on the parade? Is it on the 6th? Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's the week. Sunday, Sunday. The parade is Sunday. Well, anyone who's watching, get there Saturday and Sunday. It will be great. Come for both it's days. Sunday. Sunday. Yes, come for both days. Thank you to James, Jonathan, and Stephen, our parent company, Equal Pride, along with the Advocate Channel, Out and Pride, our proud media sponsors for Miami Beach Pride. Join James and Jonathan at the Miami Beach Pride Festival at Lummis Park on April 15th and 16th, and join us all for the Miami Beach Pride Parade on Ocean Drive, April 16th. For more information, go to miamibeachpride.com or advocatechannel.com. That's all the time we have for this advocate today. We are advocating for all of those on the margins with our content and coverage. Visit us at advocatechannel.com or wherever you stream with the Advocate Channel. I'm Tracy E. Gilchrist, and I'll see you next time.